let's take up a question on dissolution of partnership i'll read out the question it's uh here yeah. Ritika and Shalini are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses equally on 1st January 2012 their balance sheet was as under so the balance sheet is given to you the liability side of the balance sheet salary creditors bills payable mr aroda's loan this is the partner here shalini aroda right so mr aroda's loan reserve fund ritika's capital shalini aroda's capital and on the asset side you have cash in hand cash at bank stock debtors less provision for doubtful debts plant and machinery land and building the firm was dissolved on the date given above the following transactions took place shalini aroda undertook to pay mr aroda's loan and took over 50% of the stock at a discount of 20% debtors realized rupees 36000 the balance of the stock was sold off at a profit of 30% on cost Sundry creditors were paid out at a discount of ten percent. Bills payable were paid in full. Plant realized rupees fifty thousand and building rupees eighty thousand. Shalini Aroda took over the goodwill of the firm at a valuation of rupees twenty thousand, and the realization expenses were three thousand five hundred. You are, supp- you are uh, required to prepare the realization account, partners' capital account, and bank account. So first of all, we will start with the realization account. realization account debit side and the credit side here now let's transfer uh the realization account first of all all the assets that will be transferred to the realization account will come on the debit side to stock in trade right that was 50000 rupees here you see cash in hand cash at bank that will not be transferred stock in trade sunky debtors plant and machinery land and building all these things will be transferred so stock in trade then you have two sunky two sunry debtors that is uh, 44000 right the provision will not come here provision will come on the liability side uh, sorry credit side right that is a liability to plant and machinery that is uh, 30000 and to land and building is 32000 i'll show you the figures here stock in trade 50000 debtors 44 we have taken this plant and machinery 30000 land and building 32000 now we come to the credit side of the realization account for transferring the liabilities right so here we write by mr aroda's loan the loan amount was 10000 then by bills payable account by bills payable account 20000 creditors by sundry creditors account 
that is 50,000 provision for bad and doubtful debts that's a liability so it will come here The amount was 4000 right ok now all the liabilities have been transferred sundry creditors bills payable Mr. Aroda's loan right and this uh, provision for doubtful debts now you have to remember that the partner's loan will never be transferred this is Mr. Aroda here this uh, partner's name is Shalini Aroda this is Mr. Aroda, this uh, is a third party for us, right, okay. So, this will be transferred to the realization account. Now, let us look at this. Now, here we have Shalini Aroda undertook to pay Mr. Aroda's loan, right. So, for this, this she is undertaking to pay and this amount is 10,000 rupees. So, first of all, let us put this, this is a liability. The liability is being settled here. All the liabilities being settled here will come on the debit side to Shalini, Shalini's capital account. This is the loan uh, of 10,000 rupees that is being settled, right? Okay. Now the next one. And she also took over 50% of the stock at a discount of 20%. Now what is the value of stock here? The value of stock is 50,000, right? and she takes over 50% of the stock at a discount of 20%. Uh, now that will be, see the, the value of stock is, is equal to 50,000. 50% of that will be 25,000, right? And uh, a, a discount of, uh, discount of 20% on this discount of 20% on this will be equal to 5000 rupees right so she takes the stock at rupees 20000 right so this amount will have to come this is an asset being taken over by a partner so here you will have by whenever asset is realized or it is taken over by the partner it will come here one minute here by uh, Shalini's capital account, right? This is 20,000 rupees. Okay, after that we have debtors realized rupees 36,000, right? <coughs> so you can add up those amounts. You are saying uh, debtors realized rupees 36,000 and the balance of the stock was sold off at a profit of 30% on cost. Plant realize 50,000, building 80,000. Okay, so first of all, let's do this uh, balance of the stock. 50% of the stock has been already taken over. This we have done. So, what is the balance stock here? The balance stock is equal to 25,000 rupees, right? And now, see 30% of profit on cost. 30% profit on cost. comes to 7500 rupees so if you take uh, add 30% profit on cost this is the cost 25000 is the cost that is the book value right so that comes to 7500 so basically this uh, stock was uh, uh, realized at 32500 rupees right so now you have debtors realized 36,000 right stock is 32,500 and uh, here we saw plant 50,000 and building 80,000 right so here plant 50,000 and building 80,000 right so if you add up all these things 36,000 plus 32,500 plus 50,000 plus 
eighty thousand, right? So that comes to one lakh ninety eight thousand five hundred. So that will come in the credit side as by bank account, whatever the assets have realized, right? In cash, or uh, we can put it as bank. One lakh ninety eight thousand five hundred. Okay. Hmm. So we are done with these parts. Now sundry creditors were paid out at a discount of ten percent. Now what is sundry creditors here? Fifty thousand. So fifty thousand. Into ten percent is five thousand. So they were paid out as forty-five thousand. Uh, Sundry creditors, the amount is fifty thousand, and they are saying Sundry creditors were paid out at a discount of ten percent. So that is forty-five thousand, right? So here you will have two bank account. This is uh, forty-five thousand for the sundry creditors, and you also have the bills payable, which is paid out in full. So forty-five thousand plus twenty thousand is sixty-five thousand, right? Now after this, uh, Shalini Arora took over the goodwill of the firm. Goodwill is not appearing in the balance sheet, but uh, so so if goodwill is not appearing in the balance sheet, it will not be transferred. But they are saying that the goodwill of the firm was estimated at this, and it realized rupees twenty thousand means the realization part will come, right? So here you will write since Shalini Arora is taking over the goodwill uh, as. Uh, So here you will have by Shalini's capital account. This is for the goodwill, right? This twenty thousand will come, fine. And then finally, the realization expenses have been given. Realization expenses were three thousand five hundred, so that comes on the debit side. Here you will write to bank account. That is three thousand five hundred, right? These are the things that will come in your realization account. Now, if you add up the uh, credit side, the credit side is more, right? If you add up the credit side, the total of the credit side comes to three lakh twenty-two thousand five hundred, right? And now the balancing figure that will be the profit which is transferred to the partner, right? To profit transfer to Ritika's capital and Shalini's capital account, right? So here the balancing figure, the total balancing figure, uh, will be eighty-eight thousand, right? That is the total, and this will be uh, divided between them equally because their profit sharing ratio is equal, right? So forty-four thousand, forty-four thousand. Now this is the realization account for this, right? And in our next session, we will continue with this uh, illustration, and we'll make the partner's capital account, and then we'll also make the bank account for this. So with this, I come to the end of this session. Bye.